So I want to put this tree in this quite a uh, big pot and I think it's going to be okay. So um, that's the next thing to do. I'm just going to uh, use a whole lot of soil, plant the tree one or two centimeters uh, in the, um, well, under the lip, just the roots here, so that when I water it, it's, I'm sure that the, there will be plenty of water entering the pot. So, yeah, uh, this is not really an interesting operation. Uh, of course, I, I will uh, try to um, get the root base as um, equal, um, I mean, horizontal, like the, 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 the lip of the pot, so that in the coming years I can... Um, work on the top parts with uh, a good uh, inclination so yeah that's what i'm going to do next and then i'll be back of course and we'll try to make something of the top part of this tree okay it's almost uh, well potted up now um not completely um you see these roots should get a little more like this but i'm gonna put a stone here and see i want them to be like this etc you see the, the the copper stuff we used this is the bamboo which now uh, stays uh, well where it should be yeah bamboo and the other roots you see there is still a, a little room for soil i thought it was okay but then i watered it and when you water a tree, the, the, the substrate starts to sink, which is of course nice. Uh, so I, I'll have to add a one centimeter, but I'm going to um, use the root view now to do something on the upper part. So let's uh, start with that. So every tree needs uh, a front and the front is something where you have to take several things in consideration the trunk but i think most important are the the, the roots and since this tree has a uh, nice root base i think that the the front can be everywhere so this this is okay from a root point of view this is excellent but now i have to do something about the the branching here so there's still uh, quite a lot of leaves i'm going to get them off and then we can start i removed the the plastic that i put in the in the beginning of the video and well i think that anyway this this is something that should come a little more close together uh, you see this this tree this one has a small branch here has a thick branch there which is cool but maybe it's a good idea to include this in this uh, fusion now of course you see the, the, this is going to take two or three years before it, it, it really grows and, and, and does something but that's the whole point of these uh, bundle fusion things and it would be very nice to have this one uh, here but then of course I will have to uh, reposition some branches so let's see if this is possible can this one get here it might be but it's going to take some traction but i think this might be possible and then if this one comes here i'm going to close this gap and this could be a nice first big branch which could be interesting so yeah this is this looks uh, okay yeah so i'm going to take some of these plastic rings to do so 
So before I do so, I'm going to check if there's a little branch that I can include in this uh, project. Here is a, a little one. Might use this as well. This is going to snap, but this could be a, a good one. No, it's too horizontal. This could be fine. So you see when you can press some branches uh, between uh, other branches, it's a really good thing for fusion, because that's what you want. You want to uh, have some um, contacts. So, I think this is going to be good. These plastic rings, they come in sizes, different sizes. Going to try to put several ones in it. So I'm going to start at the lowest portion possible. And one it's, once it says click, it's good. So this was not good. I need some pliers because my hands are wet and cold. No, that's okay. So another one. Here. This one's going to be important because I think I'm going to remove the one that was here because I'm not too happy about the, this twist here. Okay, so we still don't have really much traction, but You don't want traction in the beginning because you want to position your uh, little branches first. Okay, so I'm going to press this. That's good. And same here. Okay, so the horrible thing with these things is that they, they leave marks and it can take a, a few uh, years before they, they completely disappear. Uh, we, I have a problem here, you see, this is really not good. Um, and at the top the same, this is something that is not very pleasing. So I'm going to... Uh, zoom in a little on this portion so you can see what I mean okay so we have um, this ugly part here and then we I, I, I feel that this should come more like so here somewhere in between <laughs> And then this should come like that. It's a struggle, you know. Um, why? Well, because now I think that this branch can uh, easily merge with this one. would be great to put this trunk under this branch, but th th this might be really difficult. Well, I can try. This is not going to be possible. Well, yes it is. It is, but I need some serious traction there. So 
so another I'm just going to do this uh, real quick and then show you why I wanted this because it might run <coughs> okay so um, is it on camera yeah now it is okay so we have a branch here we have a branch here we have a trunk here we have a branch here so if I really can make these ones fuse well I'll get a nice top and it's going to be a lot quicker than than you might think I even have now um, two tops here like so so these fuse I have two tops here which I can uh, wire or open I can put a piece of bamboo between them to open them up which will make it more interesting this is not a pine this is a a deciduous tree so you don't want one uh, trunk so this is good this is very good so uh, another thing that we want is uh, to make sure that we get new little buds and new little branches and the best way to do that is to uh, reduce the uh, other parts of the tree so the very thick things I'm going to remove but still I'm going to leave quite a lot of green on it so this one is, is a good um, branch but it serves no purpose here yeah I should have included this one in the fusion too this would would have been a, an excellent branch for the fusion yeah that's sad that I missed that one but it would have been very good so I'm going to include it so how do you do that well it's very easy you just put another plastic thing around it like so and then oh, microphone sorry about that and then you remove the previous one okay so every time you lose a ring well it's not a big deal ah. and it can be included here so I'll have to remove this one as well But this is really a very good branch a small one very flexible so that's the old ring and a new plastic now I'm going to be sure that I include the, the most of the branches now okay so I'm going to check these and include the rest of the well you get the point some of the branches are pointing in the tree so 
These are definitely not the branches we're going to use in the future. So everything that takes away from the, the fusion should be removed. Uh, very thick branches at the top are maybe also not really needed. And the, the reason why I'm cutting back all of this stuff is because the more you cut off now, the more back budding there will be. So this is a real thick branch. There's a small one here, which might be very difficult to wire, but here I have a little branches that can take over and when I remove this it will probably cause some back budding so that's all I'm doing now just give it a trim and I mean a serious trim Like so. <laughs> this this is a branch I, I quite like, in fact. Uh, but then there is one here. This is a branch under another. This is already a very nice uh, ramification here. And I think I like the, the lower parts. Cut back some tips. I think I'm almost done with uh, trimming the, the branches, maybe some little details like this one and so on, but really not big, uh, not a big deal. So. I'll come back to them when I when I'll see them. Um, another thing that I noticed is that this is not okay. You see, these are the the two tops, and that might become a problem because this one should really come this way. You cannot have two tops that are growing to each other; they must open. So I have to wire this, and this is already a big branch and. It will require some some heavy wiring and when you do some heavy wiring well you can be sure that you will have um, some branches uh, what, are, what did I say no that you will have some cutting in of the wire but it, it, I, I have to do it because Every year I wait, this will become stronger and this will become even harder to, to wire it. So, maybe one wire will be enough. If it's not, I'll, I'll have to double it. But there's no choice, it has to, I have to open this. Okay, so that's a whole lot better. Now I have to... So you see, I, I, I'm grabbing the wire and then I'm going to twist the wire. On every portion that I can. And like always, I'm overdoing it. Because it's gonna bounce back. I'm going to try to do that from different sides so that every time that I twist the wire I get a little more. So this is exaggerated but it's it's what I need. Maybe 
a little more from this side. I snap the branch a little. Just open here at the top a millimeter, which will heal, but that's that's good. Okay, that's much better. Another problem is uh, this branch, it's obvious it's coming from this part of the tree and then it's going like that, it's crossing. It's quite flexible yet, so maybe I can um, tie it here to the pot, which is going to be less stressful for the tree. But then I have to make a little hole here, which is not a big deal. And I have a little fork here so I can anchor that part, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to make a little loop in this raffia, which I can now put around that fork here. I think if I can bring it up to here it's okay. So I'm going to overdo it and I'm going to bring it up to here. So this means I need a little hole in the pot here. Like so. Okay. That looks okay. You see it should come here, but of course it's gonna bounce back. So just gonna fix it the best I can. Well, that's going to be more than enough. Like so. That's good. And then I think we're we're done here. Means that this branch will be useful. Maybe even these so here we are now at the end of this video. Uh, we have uh, some chaotic tree uh, with lots of um, holes and gaps that need to uh, be filled up in the coming years. Well, once there is fusion, all these rings can come off. It might take a year or two. Uh, anyway, as you uh, noticed, I used a fairly big pot, which will give the tree a lot of room to grow in. And so it means that I can leave it alone for quite a couple of years. And uh, if there are still little gaps at the end, at the, at the roots and, and so on, well, it's always possible to include little seedlings. Uh, I planted, I think... Um, 70 80 seedlings this spring so when they are one or two years they can be included in this fusion to uh, make the root base even uh, better so for the rest well let it grow um, cut back and so on and so on and so on let it become a complete chaos let it grow so that the holes are filled and that the fusion takes place and well, this is something you can do with trees that have no future at all. And as you see, in a couple of years, it should be possible to have a interesting piece of material with quite a big uh, root base. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.